Today in this video, we're going to recap the entire story of Lightfall's main campaign. Thanks for tuning in and let's jump right in to our end. Lightfall begins with an epic cinematic above Earth. The Witness and its Black Fleet have finally arrived. Years of waiting has led to this moment. In a battle against Guardian and City forces, the Pyramid Fleet unleash a wave of destruction. Amanda Holiday, the Vanguard, Mara, and others lead the fight and watch as the chaos ensues. And at a moment of struggle, the Traveler responds, unleashing a beam of light that blasts into the Black Fleet terraforming its surface with plant-like structures and light. The Witness then emerges from the wreckage and approaches the Traveler, revealing a vision, the location of the Veil on Neptune. Realizing the severity of this situation, Osiris boards a ship and heads to Neptune, as Kallus and his armies warp out toward the edge of the solar system. The enemy. We don't have a choice. We're out of time. Osiris. Don't die. Our Guardian's journey begins in the campaign out in space on board one of these Cabal cruisers. As it jumps through light speed toward Neptune, we hop inside and meet Kallus' Shadow Legion head on for the first time. Down there. Callus's flagship. He's heading right for the surface. Oh, is that you, my tenacious little guardian? What do you think of my shadow legion? <laughs> Osiris guides us through the Cabal vessel and lays out the plan. The witness is after something called the Veil on Neptune, and we need to get there before it does. Stop Callus in his tracks. On board, we destroy the Cabal ship's engines, and Osiris has a great idea. Use Cabal drop pods to get down to the surface of Neptune. Hurry up! Are those things safe? Can't be that. Landing on Neptune, we have now arrived in the capital city of Neomuna, which has been hidden for many years. This place is home to humans that survived during the first collapse. A ship belonging to the Echo Project would crash land here instead of its intended course in the Andromeda Galaxy. The city would remain hidden and those humans would sprout with new technology all this time. When we first hop out of the pod, we are greeted by Rohan, a Cloud Strider. Cloud Striders are the protectors of Neptune. Rohan and Nimbus are pinned down, but we fight through the city to meet up with them and Osiris. You on the road. Identify yourself. Are you with the invaders? We're guardians from the last city. 
light bearers. We're fighting the same enemy. We're here to find something called the Veil. Nimbus and I are a little pinned down right now, but we'll be there soon. Stay frosty, Tyrion. Fast. We don't like to waste time. Well, good. There isn't a moment to lose. We regroup at the Watchtower. You don't understand. We've got to get to the Vale. I understand what's at stake, like Bearer. Far better than you. Not all of us have lives to spare. Callus makes his first appearance as a disciple of the Witness. As we've seen throughout the history of Destiny 2, Callus is obsessed with beauty and power that he's obtained, often inviting our guardian aboard his Leviathan for his own amusement. During this cutscene, the Witness breaks in and commands him to find the veil. Don't fail it. Nimbus is the rookie Cloud Strider, Rohan, their mentor. Nimbus acts as the main guide around Neomuna as its vendor throughout the campaign, and they set us up on our first mission in the city. The veil is in danger, and Nimbus knows where to head next. We head back to the streets to race to the veil, try and get there before Kallus and his forces. Along the way, we fight off waves of Shadow Legion, take down barriers, and something strange happens. Let me just take a quick look. I got it. It's no big deal. It's a complex system. I'm fine. I just feel a little off. A paracausal disruptor drains our powers, forcing us to fight without abilities and supers. This has a scary effect on our ghost, who begins to feel strange. As we get close to the veil, something happens to ghost. We're too late. They've got the veil. Guardian, I don't... This doesn't feel right. The veil? It's worse than before. Much worse. Ah! <sighs> 
Callus then speaks to the witness about their progress. The veil is within their control, but entombed within Neomuna. It will take his legion more time to find it and dig it out. The witness speaks through our ghost to Callus. Veil. It is entombed. So it will take some time to break through and link the relay. Add to that the enemy presence. Yes. We know they are here. A few of Soul's protectors cannot prevent fate. He will link the radio mast and see the veil destroyed. The final shape rests upon it. Indeed, my witness. was familiar, only much stronger this time. I feel sick, like I shouldn't be here. We're in this together. Osiris and Nimbus need to hear about this. The veil is safe for now, Nimbus tells us, but Callus has something else called the radial mast. He plans to use this on the veil itself to destroy it for this final shape. This is scary for multiple reasons, you know, the Traveler and the Last City, but also for Neomuna and its people. There's something called the Cloud Arc here, which connects all people on Neomuna, its network, their bodies, defenses, and we need to make sure this doesn't go down. The next step, storming Callus' stronghold ship, the Typhon Imperator, to find the radial mast. As we venture through the ship, Ghost detects paracausal light energy. Maybe this is from the radial mast itself. Throughout all of this, Osiris is super focused on the goal. This is no fun for him, just all about business. Find the mast and destroy it. Rohan ponders what the witness wants with all of this, and Osiris is not having any of it. The Shadow Legion must use this grav lift to move equipment and troops across the ship. It should take us deeper in. I still can't believe my sensors. Could the radial mast really be a light artifact? There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the radial mast capable of? How will it affect the veil? What is the witness planning? All very good questions, but ones that can wait until we destroy the radial mast and save your city. I know what's at stake here, Osiris. In the final boss room, we find the radial mast and Callus, who wants to have a final test of our strength. We deliver dark resonance to try and destroy the mast itself, but it's not enough. We then attempt to clear the Colosseum, but Kaido breaks in, allowing us to escape. The mast not destroyed. So first, Callus and his forces found the veil. Now they still have the radial mast. Guardian, your recklessness will be the end of you one day. But not today. Kite! Daughter! Traitor! Have you come to disappoint me one last time? We'll... Uh, just show ourselves out. Is it done? We have destroyed the radial mass. We can't. The whole ship is coming down on top of us. We have to go. We were too late once already, and Callus was able to secure the veil. Now the radio mass? Headlong and empty handed, Osiris. If you fight the river, it'll sweep you away. Don't be fooled by his act. The Callus you face is no almighty emperor, but something far more dangerous. A hungry, desperate beast. Once the Cabal Empire and all its bounty was his to command and his to consume. Joy was his purpose and his strength, he said. To angst over edicts and enemies was weakness. But I could see in his eyes dread that his pleasures would soon come to an end, clouding his sight from an incoming coup. I should have killed him then, but I thought exile more fitting. I thought he'd shriveled to nothing in the void of space. Instead, he 
he caught a glimpse of something more. A chance to become greater than he'd ever been. Like a war beast after a blood set, he chased that chance, abandoning all honor, reason. There was nothing he would not sacrifice for his own salvation. And when the witness came to him at last, Callus faced what he had run from all along. If we don't stop him, he'll make sure it's the end for us all. Osiris speaks to Saint. He thinks we are wasting time by not going directly after Callus as fast as we can. He says maybe Strand is this issue, this weird substance we've been finding on Neptune. It's caused us some trouble, but maybe it can be used to our advantage somehow. He will investigate further. The mission Breakneck involves stopping the Vex and hard resetting the Cloud Arc, that thing that powers the city, its people, and the network, which runs off of the Veil. The Veil is important, but if Neomuna's network goes down, so does everything else. All these floating yellow figures you see are the people of Neomuna. They've uploaded their consciousness to the Cloud Arc. So, of course, if that goes down, all the people with it. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Arc? It's our city's network, our infrastructure, our people, our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arc's reactor. We do that, the Veil's safe, the Neomuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Dargarine is on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Arc reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, we'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on. Just so we're clear, if the Cloud Arc is lost, what does that mean for the Neomuni? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neomuna. We fight through Vex to cycle the system while Nimbus waits to blast the power back to the Arc. In the end, we reroute the power, but the Shadow Legion were waiting for us, and this was a trap. That's it! Power cycling. Once it's back on, it'll be running the cloud off. Something feels off here. That was a little too easy. Uh, what do you say we expedite that exit, folks? I got Shadow Legion on my tail! What? What are they doing here? Well, considering I'm getting shot at, I'd say it's for us! Get out of there, Guardian! It's a trap! Never get yourself out of there! Okay, then that's a bomb. Mapping an escape route. Finding Strand, we fight off Tormentors and escape the Skyscraper just in time. Power is returned to the Cloud Arc, and our first win in this adventure felt pretty nice. <laughs> Nimbus has words with Osiris, and they give us coordinates to study more information about Strand. This whole time, we've experienced pieces of Strand, but our Guardian would get overwhelmed and the power would slip away from our grasp. Now was the time to learn more about these threads of reality. After having more power and practice, we are still hitting some type of wall. We do learn some more things, but something was still missing. Osiris says he'll work on it. a wall with strand. After effects are stacking up. I don't understand. You've got more power, more practice. Hasn't this done anything to condition you? Back in action. Hit them again. Hold nothing back. Fight. 
right, but you pull through. Still, we cannot afford any faltering when facing Callus. You should be able to wield Strand without strain. We're still missing something, but what? I must think. We can discuss this more later. Osiris meets with Rohan to speak about the Veil. As they do, the Shadow Legion and Kallus begin to move the radial mast out of the city to link to the Veil and connect to the Traveler. What is this attraction? Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh, right. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Rohan, I've been pondering the Veil's paracausal effects on ghosts. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. It simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. In no time left, we hop back into the city. We race to stop the link between the mast and the veil. Strand now helps us take down suppression fields. Earlier in the campaign, those took out our abilities. We use tanks supplied by Nimbus and race to the vault itself. Rohan assists us on this mission as Nimbus assists from a distance. When destroying suppressors, we come across a tormentor boss called the Imprint of Nazarek, which is quite interesting. More on this in a bit. Nimbus gets pinned down and can't make it to the vault with us and Rohan. Getting delayed. How close are you to the radio mast? Almost there. Remember, the radio mast must be stopped before it forges a connection with the veil. You see the veil's enclosure. No, I'm pinned down here. Can't make it to you. Too many of these damn things. The light bearer and I can handle this. Stay alive, Nimbus. Way's a dead end. No path forward. We'll have to make our own. Inside, at first we can't find a way to destroy this, so Rohan holds the line so the link can't complete, and we fend off Cabal, hoping to find a way to destroy this thing once and for all. The radio mast, it's activating. I'll buy you some time, light bearer. Be careful, Rohan. Even you can only deter it for so long. Must be a way to destroy it. Good. As long as I can hold the line, the radial mass can't create the link. Find a way to destroy it. Hurry! After a battle, Osiris says maybe Strand can destroy it. Maybe the Shadow Legion didn't account for Strand. It doesn't work, and Rohan sacrifices himself instead. The radial mass cannot be destroyed with conventional weapons. But like before, perhaps they didn't account for strength. Okay, Nimbus. 
Callus meets with the witness. He tells the witness of this small setback, the mast, you know, being destroyed and everything. The witness is not amused. Our hold over the veil has been temporarily loosened. You fear loss, Emperor. Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. Our purpose is its end. You have no purpose. Because you fear to seek one. That fear is your failure. My failure? My failure? I defend this force with vicious subjugation, batter down the gates of our enemies, and seize our glittering prize. Why? Because I wanted it. You hold the universe in your grasp, and all you can think of to do with it is... Secure the veil. We will create the link. Infinite apologies. The veil is yours. It will be done. The next step in the adventure was the strike called Hypercurrent. In this strike, we work to get Neomuna's defenses back online. Shadow Legion are messing with the Vex network, so we jump in to find out why. It would appear Kalos' forces are trying a different approach. The Vex net uses similar gateways as the Cloud Arc, so they could infiltrate the network and gain access to the Veil that way, find some type of back door. During the strike, a mysterious entity speaks. Closer to the source of the problem. That track nearby looks like your best bet. Let's just hope it's stable. Oh, finally. What? What was that? Such a fragile space. This will do. Once the Taken threat is clear, the voice is revealed. Nezarek is alive, using this network for power in this place he calls the In-Between. This prison in-between, it will shatter. But I need power. I am pain. I am terror. We now have two missions left. The next one is called Headlong. The battle is nearing its end. Nimbus, Keitel, Osiris, and our guardian, the whole squad, get together. Osiris says, we aren't ready for Kallus just yet. We need one last mission to train and acquire Strand once and for all. In a pretty epic cutscene, Osiris trains us, teaches us to look within and have a different perspective, flow with that river and find Strand deep inside of us. We don't even understand this erratic power at a foundational level. It's time we figure it out. Keitel, we'll need your troops. Nimbus, charge up as many of the remaining turrets as you can, while Osiris helps me to untangle this strand. When we think about controlling something powerful, It's easy to assume it takes strength. Determination. A force of will.
But what I've learned is that we cannot control every facet of nature. Instead of tightening our grip, we must open our palms, accepting the ebb and the flow. Letting go in the face of grief in all its shapes. Through failure, through loss, we can overcome the impossible. Guardian. I hate to butt in on your enlightenment, but Shadow Legion are on the move. Another time, then. You've more than proven yourself. Kallus has no idea what's in store for him. The last mission is called Desperate Measures. Stop Kallus from getting to the Vale and linking it to the Traveler. In the Neptunian city, Keitel's forces begin to enter from the planet's atmosphere. It would be nice to have some backup from her forces, but the Legion apparently set up anti-air cannons, so we had to deal with those first. Anti-air guns are neutralized. My forces are rallying, but it will take some time. Along the way, Nimbus is trying to boot up some old Ishtar weaponry, a giant laser beam weapon that rains down chaos. This defense relay thing, taking a bit more work than I thought. It hasn't been turned on since the Ishtar days. Hope it still works. With the Empress's Legion routed, it may be our last line of defense. Sounds like someone's coming around to the untested Ishtar weapon. She's almost ready. I think I got it. Whoa! Did you see that? Totally blend that. Keep the turrets under our control. They're vital to our defense. In an epic standoff, we defend the vault entrance and courtyard from the Shadow Legion. The only goal, don't let them inside near the veil. Retreat to higher ground. You need a more defensible position. This way, Guardian. We'll safeguard the vault together. Callus appears in the sky and blasts the doors wide open as he speaks to his daughter, Keitel. Exposed. Keep them away from it at all costs. Leave the Emperor to me. You must reach the Veil before the Shadow Legion. Do whatever you must to prevent the link. Now we would have to head in and stop this link. Kaido would stay behind up here in the courtyard to stall the progress of the Legion and Callus, and we would jump in to make sure the link doesn't occur. We enter this old Ishtar station where the Vale is housed deep below ground. In this facility, many cool things are found. I have to go back and experience this some more. An Ishtar Cloud Arc prototype and the Vale itself. That must be the Vale. It's massive. I feel a little strange. I don't know how to describe it. It almost gives me the same feeling as the Traveler. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's press on. 
Kaido could only do so much and Kallus has arrived, blasting holes to the ground to get to this vault. In the final encounter, Kallus is destroyed, but during the final scene, we lose. We've done it. Callus is no more. You gave him a cabal's end. I'll believe it when I see it for myself. Hey, uh, do you guys feel that? No clue what you're talking about. We're almost at the veil. Hang tight. Callus couldn't link to the veil himself, but Ghost does. It seems the witness, as seen in the past and throughout the campaign, has some type of control over our ghost. It speaks through him like it did since Beyond Light, even the Shadow Keep days, and links the veil to the Traveler. Well, the uglier they are, the harder they fall, right? No? Come on. We finally found you. Get your ghost. What's wrong, Osiris? Get your ghost out of there. Finality takes shape. It's creating the link. At long last. Destroy it. Kaido wanted us to destroy our own ghost to stop this link, but Nimbus jumps in to save him. Unfortunately, it's too late, and the veil connects to the Traveler. In that next cutscene, the Witness opens a portal near the Traveler and enters. It tells the Traveler to be free as it and its ships enter. The universe makes us all victim. In my everyday The big reveal here is a mystery I plan to discuss in future videos in the coming days, the end of Lightfall's story here. But there you have it, Guardians, the entire story of Lightfall explained. 
Bungie loves to do this mystery thing. Yes, it was kind of annoying we didn't get an upfront answer on what the veil was and what the heck happened here with the Traveler, but we will someday, and maybe there's even more hints in the lore we just haven't read yet. In some of the quests after the campaign, Nimbus says that the Vex were trying to create a veil replica and they were halfway done with it before he and Rohan destroyed it. So was the veil created by the Ishtar crew? Was it brought here by Savathun and how does it connect to our Traveler? Be sure to leave your theories down below and like this video if you enjoyed. I love discussing the story of this game, so if you'd like to see some more videos just like this one, also be sure to subscribe to the channel. The entire story of Destiny is up, now we got the entire story of Lightfall. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.